a lot of times people, they have a regular job and they're like, man, I want to try this entrepreneurship thing. I want to try this freelancing thing. And they're like, I know it would free up so much time, but like, I got to have this income from my job. I have to have it. Right. So then it, it makes them really hesitant to jump all the way into entrepreneurship. And the transition is like very slow. And on paper, financially, it's a good decision to just put in more time and like only quit the job once the, the like freelancer side is built up. But realistically, you can, if you can quit your job, which takes up at least eight hours a day, plus travel, plus mental stress, Crazy. you have so much more time to then work on your own stuff and you excel so much quicker. Now you're already past that, but it happens again later. So when you have clients and you're like, man, I want to start my own offer, but I don't want to lose the client revenue. It's mm. like, I need time, so I need to cut the client yeah. right. so to work on my offer. And then eventually, like when the offer starts going off, you cut the clients and you're like, okay, I'm good. And then for me, that's happening again because it's like my offer is scaling and I don't have a ton of like personal clients anymore. I mean, I have a team that helps with them, yep. but it's like, man, I'm spending a lot of time on this offer and I wish I could get stuff done quicker, but I don't want to spend extra money on people working for me. Like I have so many already. I don't know if I should get mm. time people and you're like, oh man. But right. I'm just going to do it because what I realized is like, if I continue down the path that I'm on, like I'll still do okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I, wanna, I really want to grow and scale and like, I can't do, like, I just don't have enough time. So I, like, I need to hire people. Yeah. So that's three examples. You're already past one, but between two and three, the thing I want to tell you is like, make sure that you're getting help. A hundred million. Yeah. Sure. Right. Like I could not have made it this far without, like I have a lot of remote team members who are like part-time contracted yep. and I'm bringing in one guy in house. I'm trying to get one to two more because if I can get those guys and I really trust them, they're going to do amazing. And like, we're going to be able to get this stuff done so much quicker. And ju just because I'm paying out an extra like eight to 10 K a month for work, like we're going to get out so much more from their yeah. production that is just like, why am I worried about that eight to 10 K? Like, I just need to like scale. Mm -hmm. Same thing with you. Like when you're building out all this stuff, you wake up early, you know, you focus on the supplement first thing in the morning, like get somebody who can just like somebody maybe who's like really good at building funnels or doing administrative tasks or, you know, putting in automations or like whatever it is, just like make sure you get the help because it's, it frees up so much time. And it's like, I'm yeah. not old by any means, but I've started to realize that time is like way more valuable than money, like not even close.